Hey you guys, welcome back, Klaus here, and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of our Town Hall 10 Farming playlist, and uh, this uh, account's been going since Town Hall 8, guys, if you want to check that out, go back into our farming playlist and check it, it's been going for over a year now, but anyway guys, today's a big day, because if you look, you can see that I've got my queen up to level 35, I did gem the time so that I can participate in a war, and that was a lot of fun, and I got a bunch of gems, if you look in the top right side of the screen there, 14,000 gems, I inherited those, I was given those by my parents $100 iTunes card. So thank you parents for that early Christmas present That was awesome So I will be using those gems only for boosting barracks and also for possible hero times But I want this to last me forever just so that you guys know I'm not a gemmer I hate gemming anything but gemming uh, barracks and also possibly the times for heroes because it's totally worth it the gem the queen time So anyway, I am excited about today because 35 if you watch my tunnel 9.5 upgrade guide You know that I follow that guide you know that I'm interested in more weight if you want more information on that check out the 9.5 guide but today I finally get to put down the new defenses for Town Hall 10 which means the new cannon the new archer tower and the new bomb tower I've decided not to do the expo today and I'm not gonna do the infernos until level 40 queen because I want to be able to three star or at least high two star my equivalent and today I got a uh, one <laughs> one star uh, on a Town Hall 10 with inferno so I decided I am not ready for infernos just yet I am gonna stick to low war weight for now so those three buildings are gonna be put down and then if you look in my laboratory I have finished out the golem so we had now have max govaho which is exciting and I am going to be putting down my free spell today I need one more million elixir uh, because it's gonna cost four and I've got just about three so I have my barracks boosted my king and my queen are awake and I'm gonna be using my queen walk army if you look I have got a whole bunch of archers and giants wall breakers six healers to keep the queen super are alive baby dragon and some minions you've also got your um some rages some jumps and some heals and we're gonna go out and we're gonna find some loot guys so without further ado let's get this thing started i'm excited because in this particular lead that i'm in we usually end up finding dead bases dead town all 10 bases rather quickly guys so without any more delay i will see you guys when i find a base all right, guys, I found us a dead town on nine. The dark elixir is pretty good, 2,200, but 300,000 golden elixir is, is something that we can't pass up. So if we look at the base, it's a dead town on nine, expos are down, king and queen are like 15, 18 level, ours are 30 and 35. Should not be a problem whatsoever. So if we look at these sweepers, the pointing to each direction. So I'm gonna come at this base from just simply from the south. There really shouldn't be any struggles. I'm gonna hold on to a healer in case I need to. Uh, and let's just watch and see how it goes. I wanna make sure that this wizard tower does not take out our, our oh no, what are you doing? Okay, the wall breakers, there we go, get it. All right, so we're in the base with the queen. That's good news. So what we're going to do now is we're going to watch the queen and we're going to see which direction she decides to go. Uh, because if she decides to go left, all the loots, you know, kind of scattered all around the base. I want to make sure I cover the entire base. So if she goes left, we'll drop our troops on the right. Or if she goes right, we'll drop our troops on the left. Right now, she just got that air defense. So that's a good, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign uh, because that air defense is really the only thing that can threaten this entire raid. Uh, queen takes out that archer tower and she is struggling on the king right now I'm not quick enough to swipe over and grab that poison spell so I went ahead and popped their special ability I've got rage spells if I need to I am not worried so Morta goes down she's gonna step up she's gonna take out this uh, town hall and then what I I still need to determine which way she needs to go y'all come on buddy come on all right so she's gonna get the town hall Come on! All right, there we go. All right, so she's gonna go to the right. Uh, that was unexpected. So I'm gonna drop my giants here on the left, uh, just in a big train. We're gonna drop a few archers in behind just to do some funneling. And then, uh, wall breaker her in just like, or them, just like that. We'll also drop our king, and I've got some defensive troops in the clan castle. It's a baby dragon and some other troops, so I will hold them for now. And um, let's back up my king and such with these archers. I've also got a baby dragon. I'll go ahead and drop for the uh, the purpose of helping. I'm gonna drop my healer over here to help out with the. Uh, well, I was gonna drop him for the for the freaking giants, but too late. Okay, so I'll drop a few of these archers to help funneling the queen. Continue the queen going into the core. I'll drop a few on this side as well, just to help the uh, the giants and the king do its thing. Also, we're dealing with the enemy king right now, so let me pop my king's special ability. He should break in and get that queen. He might not. Yo, okay, we lost the king 
uh, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. It really isn't. I'm going to drop my clan castle. I know there's probably at least one Valkyrie in there. That where oh, we got two Valkyries. Awesome. Okay, so next thing is let's drop these wall breakers because we're not going to need them. I'm going to drop the rest of my archers, and then I've got these uh, minions. I'm going to drop one minion over here and see if we can start working on this dark elixir storage. Yes, uh, well, we'll get that expo first, and then I'm going to rage the queen to help her get through the rest of this DPS. She needs to stay tanking all these defenses so that these archers up here can continue cleaning up side buildings. So, the queen taking out the sweeper, taking out the mortar, taking out the cannon. Yes, awesome. All right, guys, we got the, the, oh, the dark elixir and the wizard tower. That's it. Come on, three star. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Boom. All right. So there was no there was no uh, question that I wasn't going to three star that base, but it can't it kind of came down to time, uh, but it was worth it. Now, we only spent one spell. That's kind of the whole idea. Whenever I farm is I try to spend as little spells as possible. And I usually don't like using the clan castle, but if, in this position, in this case, um, using the clan castle is kind of necessary. We got the three star again. Not really that important, but getting all the loot was and we capitalized. So let's go find us another base. All right, guys, here is a dead town hall 11. The Infernos are dead. It doesn't have an Eagle Artillery that I can see. So what is that? Dead town hall 10.5 or whatever. It's got a level 2 Grand Warden, and it's got a level 25 King and Queen. So it's not a pushover base, but it doesn't have any town hall 10 level defenses that I can see. So I think we're going to be able to grab most of this loot, and I love the fact that my Queen can reach that air defense. So let's go ahead and put our Queen down right here. Also, by the way, guys, I just failed on a base, um, so that's why my, my king is not alive. If I end up not showing that attack, um, I, I just... It was just bad. The queen walked the wrong direction, and she uh, she totally trolled me. And then, of course, the base had infernos that were still alive, uh, so it destroyed me. So anyway, that was bad, but it's okay. We're going to be all right. So I'm going to drop a few giants over here and some arches behind to help out with that funnel. Also, I'm thinking popping or dropping the, uh, they're putting the queen into this ba into this compartment would be best. Let's see if we can, oh, snap, queen almost died, crud, man, I was, <laughs> I was focused on my, um, my, uh, <laughs> my wall breakers. Okay, so that was, that was scary. Uh, let's funnel out the outside corner here, and then I think the queen should roam free without any hiccups whatsoever, so let's see. Where do we want the rest of our giants and our clan castle, whatever it is? Actually, watch this, guys. If you click the clan castle, seven giants are level seven. That is awesome. So that means I've got some decent firepower, mainly tanking in my clan castle, which is always a good thing. Um, poison spell on the queen? No, I was, too, I was too late on the poison spell, but I didn't even need it. I just wasted a poison spell, guys. I just wasted a poison spell. Okay, so giants down. Clan castle down. Tons of archers, because that's how we roll in this home. All right, there we go. And then, now what? Let's uh, wall breaker them in. Actually, we didn't need to wall breaker the top group in, because there's a hole. That's okay. All right, so we're going to break it in. The king, the, the giants are in. We have no king. This would be a great base to have a king on. And um, let's see what is next, guys. I've got a baby dragon. I'm going to go ahead and load that down onto the cannon there. Our queen is doing some work. I've got a few minions, and i got one wall breaker left. So let's see what is the best way to do that. I really would like for this baby dragon to grab the Stark Elixir out of the drill, but it does not look like that's going to be the case. Um, this was a tougher base than I expected. Let's put down our minions on this drill here, and hopefully the wizard, uh, the uh, air defense does not get... Yes! Get him! That's, that is why I bring minions. That's beautiful. Okay, so the queen is still in. She's doing her work. Um, let me rage her down now, and I'm also going to, uh, I don't really have a use for the wall break. I'm just going to waste it, because I like having, I like using my full army so that I can have a full army later, um, so that's my excuse for that. So, the queen should get all this elixir out of the, uh, the collectors, which is awesome, that's a lot of elixir, and then I'm going to pop, spin her around, and she's going to take out the star elixir out of that drill, and I use the jump spell to save a little bit of time, and possibly we can get the queen to come into the base and um, get rid of the star elixir out of the storage. I'm not sure. We're going to miss a little bit of loot out of the top collectors and mines, but that's okay. We're going to be okay. So, air defense is down. We got about 10 seconds, and we got no special ability, so unfortunately, we're going to miss out on the two star and a little bit of loot. There's no dark elixir in storage anyway, so that's okay. We're going to finish off with a ton of loot, guys. Check it out. 
We got 298,000 Golden Elixir, which is just a bit under our first attack, and over 4 thousand dark elixir that is what's up that is what i love about this army is that the four thousand plus 220 so 4270 dark elixir and the cost is what like 50 maybe let's let's look and see i got my star bonus i'm like quick train boston special cost 50 dark elixir plus that poison spell whatever that was actually if you look at the previous army it shows that i spent 175 dark elixir and i gained over 4270 so that is what i'm saying is beautiful tons of profit with this army if you're looking for dark elixir and i mean Hundred and, uh, wow, 313,000 elixir? I didn't realize I spent that much. I guess because I put down all of my spells, or too many of my spells, but anyway, guys, I'm going to, uh, cut the recording here. I'm going to finish out my boost. I'm going to spend all this loot, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Guys, I just got done with the boost, and I have two attacks to show you, so the video might be a little bit long, and if you're not okay with that, just skip it to the end, I understand, but check out these two raids. Both of them are pretty awesome. So this one, a Dead Tunnel 10 with 4,500 Dark Elixir, guys. And I was able to grab all of it with this cheap little army. So check it out. The, uh, the Dark Elixir is primarily in these two drills on the top. But if you keep going south, there is a storage of Dark Elixir. And then all the way to the bottom is another Dark Elixir drill. So what I did was I started my Queen Walk on this top right hand side. Because I figured, you know what, if I can get the drills and the storage with the queen then we're good then we only have to really focus on the uh the dark elixir in the drill in the south so guys i'm trying to funnel out as far as i can and i'm also concerned about tanking both level three x bows with the queen at the same time and so what i do is i drop the majority of my giants actually all of my giants including the ones in the clan castle down here on the top left hand side i'm trying to funnel out as well just to get the giants to go into the base i'm also keeping the queen from going around i want her to go into the core so i go ahead and jump her into the core right there as you can see what i wanted to do is i wanted to take out this expo and then get in here and get that dark elixir storage i've also got all these giants they're going after this air defense and if i can get that air defense to drop i'm gonna put down that baby dragon because that baby dragon without an air defense is totally op look at this baby only level two only town online level and it does so much work guys and actually, that's kind of why I want to show you the second attack. But you'll see that in a second. So check it out. So what we're going to see is the queen and the uh, giants. They both take advantage of the first wall of the jump. But the, the, the queen, she kills the enemy queen. Look at this, man. Look at this. Oh, man. Pop the queen's special ability because she starts tanking on that expo because those giants over there got, di got dead. But the baby dragon comes and helps with the enemy, uh, enemy king. And then the baby dragon's going to die. Watch this. Watch, watch this. This is clutch. All right. So the king... Oh, no. Oh, okay. That was a little too clutch. That was too clutch. Uh, <laughs> um, I dropped some wall breakers, but I forgot that I jumped her over that wall, so that didn't really help at all. We got the queen in. She's working on the dark elixir storage, and then... If you look down here to the south, I've got an archer layer going down because I noticed something. Look at this minion. She's gonna, he's gonna work on this Dark Elixir drill untouched by any air targeting defenses. Watch out for problems like this in your base because if someone can drop a minion and grab a few hundred or maybe a thousand Dark Elixir, that is a bad thing. So our queen is in now. She is gonna be walking around. I'm hoping to now grab that town hall because we're gonna get all the Dark Elixir out of the rest of the base. We might as well get it out of the town hall as well. So the queen is running up right now. She's gonna take out the Tesla and now she is locked onto the town hall and now it's just a matter of time. If I double over time, the speed, guys, we got about 20 seconds before the replay is done. The queen is soaking up damage from that expo that minion got da shot down at the south, and all we have to do is sit and wait. Now, the king, the uh, gold in the elixir wasn't that great in this raid, but the dark elixir was awesome, so I am very satisfied with how that raid turned out. 4,571 dark elixir plus the loot bonus is pretty boss. Now, if we go in and watch the last replay, it happens to be a three-star, but... There and the loot wasn't that great. I liked the 376,000 elixir. That's kind of what I was primarily looking for anyway during this boost. But there was some really clutch baby dragon action here, and that's what I want to talk to y'all about now. Is that baby dragon is absolutely key for a raid. And I used to not bring troops like that. I used to not bring minions. I used to not bring baby dragons. But lately. It has just changed my life. So, um, pop the queen special ability on the poisoned king. And what I'm hoping to do is run her around this base, around this side, because three of the air defenses are on this side, or the 
Wait, two of them are on this side, one of them's on that side, and I already killed the fourth one, so I figured, you know what, the queen going around to the left would be the best choice, but she decides to lock onto the wall, so I uh, had to adjust my plan a little bit. So what I've got here now is I'm going to see which direction she's going to go, and she's going to go to the right because of that wall compartment there. So she's going to work on the gold storage and then the X-Bow and then just make her way around to the south. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all this elixir with my king, giants, and archers, and then um, just kind of... Bat spatter little troops everywhere to help everybody clean up and uh, it's gonna be great so this is a town all 10 no inferno tower it's like a 9.5 but it's a rushed base I mean look at the walls purple and black skull walls I mean that is town hall 8 and 7 stuff right there and this guy's rocking a town hall 10 so we got our giants up here we got our king up here no clan castle troops a bunch of archers for funneling purposes and also for just taking out buildings I've also got wall breakers on both sides bottom and top the giants are in now and uh, we break into two compartments meanwhile our queen walk is down here on the south taking care of she look at this she's soaking a tesla an archer tower and expo this level 35 queen is a boss i'm just so stoked to have her so she is soaking up two expos now both of them are level one and she just absorbed a spring trap but the king and the giants are the main story guys and then check it out we have ourselves a queen on this far side i decided i wanted to get rid of her so watch this baby dragon everything's fine up there and the rest of the troops the giants the king watch this boom oh the baby dragon I can just died in its last breath it's like a, it's like a fade away three at the end of the buzzer and then she or it's or whatever the baby dragon is got it it was freaking awesome so I, I was literally sitting in my chair and when it happened I was like yeah you know jumped up it was awesome so anyway king giants on the core we got a few defenses still left I'm gonna drop the rest of my archers down here I've also got the rest of my minions working on this dark elixir storage we would not have three starred had it not been for these couple of minions right here so very very nicely done we'll take out the air defense the archers doing their work and then uh, the queen will take out sweeper the tesla and then step up and grab that cannon and then it will be lights out for this base and of course uh look at this guy so the rest of the buildings the dark elixir stores the gold storage drop the king is in the core now queen's trying to get in there but she is not fast enough king and the minions will take out the town hall and then the king and the minions will take out this elixir storage and be done with it um actually wait the queen's gonna help watch watch the queen one shot boom so much swag guys so much swag that queen has that was awesome anyway so awesome loot grabs all around that was an awesome boost and i have met my required four million elixir and i've also got a whole bunch of elixir nine hundred thousand in the treasury so i'll go ahead and collect that now so that i've got it of course and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start this free spell now this is only level two i think max is level five so we got a long way to go guys we have a long way to go before we're able to finally have that max freeze but every little thing that we do on the base counts and you know today's monday five days from now i believe is saturday so that means that hopefully saturday we can get level two or level three the second uh, upgrade for the free spell going but for now guys four melee elixir going down in three two one bam Awesome. All right. Every single thing we do in the laboratory is absolutely essential. It's very important for the base. It's very important for a war oriented person to have that upgraded and powerful laboratory. So now we need to do something monumental, guys. We're going to put down a few defenses and I'm just going to open up this section over here. Uh, I'm going to move these this group over just a bit just to make space for our three new defenses. So, guys, the new cannon putting it down now booyah 10 second upgrade I, I miss those days you know i miss those days new archer tower put it down too boom and then finally guys the new defense the bomb tower We're finally gonna get our second bomb tower boom all right guys so that is all the new defenses of course i'm gonna be upgrading these new defenses that's a 15 minute upgrade i'll be doing these um upgrades as time goes on in hopes of getting them to max town hall nine level i don't even think my other bomb tower is maxed on the line level that's a level one we need to get him to level two at least i think so i'll be upgrading these defenses that are brand new and also guys i want to mention that i've got if i go to my progress base which i'm gonna have to alter let me see edit layout and then I can put my new cannon right here and uh, I'm gonna have to find a new spot for my archer tower but for now that can go there and my new bomb tower can go there um, so if I go into my progress base and I look I have one elixir upgrade to go one more barracks so if I can if I can get enough elixir to do that in and amongst doing all these free spells in the laboratory I will be doing my final barracks very very soon as well as 
always, as always, upgrading or working on Dark Elixir for the King and the Queen. To get the Queen level 36, 180,000 Dark Elixir is a bunch of Dark Elixir, but it's absolutely worth it. It's worth spending the loot on. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. We got our new defenses going. We're going to be upgrading the, uh, the, the little defenses and, of course, this uh, bomb tower whenever it gets up. And we also need to just go ahead and upgrade this bomb tower as well. Do I have enough gold for that? I do. Let's get this second bomb tower to level two. Um, it's a six day upgrade. It's worth doing. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Bam. 3.5 million gold. That's where all my gold was supposed to go, guys. But anyway, that is going to do it for me. I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your patience with me as I haven't felt good. I hope to get videos out all, all this week, but we'll just have to see. Also, look in the link in the description below. I have become a sponsor from Cash for Apps. So if you want some free gems, check out the link. It is going to be the first line on the title description. I'll be posting a how-to and how to do it very, very soon. Just be looking forward to that. Also, like the video, subscribe, join the Klaus family, and I will see you guys again next time.